Hi YouTube, it's Kathy, and welcome to my Books in the Freezer Readathon TBR. I found out about this readathon at the Shades of Orange YouTube channel, which is run by Rachel, and it sounds great. It turns out she runs a podcast of the same name, and since I'm recently getting back into podcasts, I've downloaded a couple of episodes that look like they're going to be right up my alley. This is a readathon that's taking place from October 1st to 14th, and of course we are reading scary books. Because scary books, or upsetting books, are the ones that you put in the freezer so they can't hurt you anymore. If I've learned anything from friends, that was it. The other co-host for this readathon is Stephanie at That's What She Read, which is just a fantastic name for a channel, and I'll link both of them down below. There are five challenges. I've picked books for each of them, and I don't know a whole lot about the books because I don't like to go into my things knowing everything about them before I read them, but I will try to give you a little bit of synopsis. Let's not lie, I'm just going to use Goodreads. If you've been around my channel for a while, you also know that I like to get things from the library as opposed to buying them because one, I work at the library, and two, I spend all my money on travel, so I need to get things from the library because I do not have money for buying books. So to figure out what I wanted to read for these challenges, I basically searched lists of things that would fit the challenges and then checked to see if the library had it, and then as soon as I found one of those things that mashed up in that Venn diagram, I went, that is what I will read. The first challenge is to read a horror book by a female author, and for that I'm reading Broken Monsters. Quickly scanning the synopsis, it looks like there's a couple of different point of view characters on this one, but I'm just going to read you the first sentence of the Goodreads, and you'll know that this is going to be something dark and twisty and creepy. Detective Gabriella Versato has seen a lot of bodies, but this one is unique even by Detroit's standards. Half boy, half deer, somehow fused together. I don't even want to read anymore. I'm already hooked. I want to read it. The next challenge is to read an anthology of short horror stories. You can either do an anthology of different authors or an anthology all by the same author. And this one was actually incredibly easy to find because Rachel actually recommended this in her video announcing the readathon, and I went, oh, my library has that, I will just read that. However, again, just reading the first line on the Goodreads, I was like, yes, this is a good pick. Because the first line reads, Word Horde presents the debut collection from critically acclaimed weird fiction author. Nadia Balkan. Weird fiction author? Yes. I want this in my life. I love weird fiction. And apparently three of the short stories in this collection were nominated for the Shirley Jackson Award, so I'm looking forward to it. The third challenge is to read a book featuring or by a POC author or character or queer author or character, and I figured why not both. For this one I will be reading the first volume of a manga called Tokyo Ghoul. Apparently Goodreads only has the synopsis of it in French, which I do not read, so let's try this again. I found this book by looking up queer horror stories, so I can only assume that the queer element is there, and of course it's a manga so it is not white people, I assume. I assume it's set in Japan. Let's just check. Yes, according to Wikipedia, Tokyo Ghoul is a Japanese dark fantasy manga series. Sounds great. I haven't read a lot of manga, so I'm really hoping that if I do get into this one, my library has the rest of the volumes. I'm pretty sure it does, so I can complete it, but I'm going to start with volume one. The fourth challenge is to read a book that has a movie adaptation, and for this one I'm going to read American Psycho. I did see the movie when it came out years ago because I've been trash for Christian Bale ever since Newsies. And I also really love horror movies. I spent a lot of my youth watching horror movies. In fact, my first email address definitely had horror in it. But besides a few trivial plot points, there's not a lot I remember from the movie, so I'm looking forward to reading the book and seeing how much of it I see with Christian Bale's face. This is a black comedy about a man that works on Wall Street and is a psychopath. And finally, the last challenge is to read a book that is recommended on the podcast, and although I haven't actually listened to it at time of recording this video, the first one that Rachel talked about in her video was something that I already want to read, and I'm like, perfect, it just gives me an excuse to finally read it. And that book is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I saw this when it came out last year, I really wanted to read it in October because of course that is the best month for reading the creepy things. And I think that it just didn't get to my library in time for that, so I've been basically waiting for October to roll around again so I could read this book. Just from looking at the cover of this, I feel like there's going to be a lot of nostalgia feels from growing up in an earlier decade than now. And after reading this, I might actually go back and watch The Exorcism, because I remember watching it when I was about 14 at a slumber party, and all of the other people were freaked out by it, and I giggled through a lot of it because I like horror movies. I'm weird. My favorite movie when I was four years old was It, starring Tim Curry. So yes, even though it is September, I am very excited for this readathon in October because the creepy times are gonna happen. 
there you have it. Have you read any of these books? Let me know about it down in the comments below without spoilers, please. On the way down to the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you very soon. Bye!